Hey everybody, it's Ellen, your licensed technician at Nova Cat Clinic, giving you the weekly kitten update. Uh, first of all, all the vampire kittens have left the house. Thank goodness. We are finally done with that crew. They were finally healthy enough to go home. Uh, but thanks to everybody who adopted somebody from that group. They went through a lot, and I know they all went home with still having symptoms of their upper respiratory, but... You know, that's what our kitten fund is for, is to continue treatment for them as you adopt them out because they do heal faster when they're going to a home. Being in a hospital is not a place to heal or get rest or anything. We're here to treat you. It's when they go home is when they actually have a chance to thrive and heal and, and be in an environment where they can have love 24-7, um, more than what we're able to give them here. On another note, um, if you guys all saw my post last night about um, one of our kittens, Stanley, uh, who, who took a sudden turn for the worse yesterday, and we just don't know what's going on, so we still have some lab work pending on him. He um, made it through the night. I had to get up every single hour to check on him, make sure he was hydrated. Um, I made sure he got fed a little bit of um, very diluted formula because when they are sick, they just can't digest food very well, and you don't want to overload their system. So this morning we're going to be taking a much more closer look at him and figuring out, you know, what else can we do for this little guy and what potentially could be going wrong. So hopefully he'll be going home again with me this evening uh, for continued round-the-clock care. Um, so that being said, um, we really need your help um, with some donations in order to give these little kittens the appropriate medical care that they need. Uh, diagnostics does cost money as well as medication. Um, my time outside the clinic when I take them home and stuff is all donated and volunteered time. I do it because I love it, but I can't do it without anybody else's help. Um, and I know we've had several interests in our current cluster of babies, but I can't let them go now since I have one that's sick until we find out what's going on. So if you could Click one of the links down at the bottom if you're so inclined to give a donation and hopefully we can find out what's going wrong with Stanley and get these kittens healthy and get them out of here. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.